say your prayers, titles. What's going on, everybody? Gemmin here back again, as promised. Yesterday, we did the unboxing and review for Bebop, and here we have Rocksteady from the PCS Collectibles 1 4th scale Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line based off the animated series. Love the paint applications on these guys, how realistic they look, but they still look cartoony. Anyway, before we jump into the unboxing, I'm going live on Whatnot tomorrow, Whatnot Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific for an hour of live comic book auctions. We've got $1 starts, giveaways, and I'm on the road to 10K where we're giving away this PlayStation 5 disc-based 825 gigs. So come check me out then. But for now, let's dive into this unboxing. All right, another double layer box. We got the straps here, removing the straps, no tape, very convenient. Let's see what's on that top layer here. So it looks like the base, some other smaller pieces. Yep. Oh, both hands. You've got the arms of the little proximity piece. And here's the base. You can see where it has like a magnet for his right foot, the key with the hole for his left. Very similar to Bebop in design and size. Some smaller little pieces like a turtle shell grenade, little piece of ammunition right here that got stuck to the magnet. There you go. And then two other grenades, which will go on his front of his chest and on the back of his belt and then the two arms for the retrieval robot I didn't even know what it was called luckily sideshow had it on the page there so those are the arm tentacles the wooden sword on his back from the cartoon from the toys what's he gonna do with a wooden sword I guess just bash you with it <laughs> here goes his left hand also three fingers one thumb I like the gray tone you got whatever that brown wrist wrap is. You can see his fingernails. And then moving on to the right arm with the huge rifle, just like with Bebop, all one solid color. Kind of weird design choice with that white scope lens. I guess it is supposed to be a lens. Looks pretty cool, but that is the last piece from that top layer. Let's go ahead and remove that and see what we have on the bottom here. All right, here we go. So we got Rocksteady's body, proximity base, the rest of the robot, Here's the proximity base. Again, companions with the main base, same thickness, pads underneath. Then the retrieval robot. I kind of wish he had a little bit more color. Maybe that wouldn't have been accurate to the cartoon or the game. I thought he had red somewhere. Could be wrong. And then we have the big heavy body of Rocksteady with the ammunition belt, the yellow shirt, the fat belly hanging out, the camouflage pants with the boots. He's going to have a lot of uh, weaponry, so you'll see that during the assembly. Heavy, solid piece. And then the portrait. So this one is not attached like Bebop. I love this portrait, man. The eyes, the snout, the horns, the helmet with his ears poked out. Paint applications look great. Has the animated series style to it. Nice, thick <laughs> magnet that'll key into the body. And before we get into the assembly, this video is brought to you by ThatSpidermanBooth.com. That Spider-Man Booth is now doing subscription boxes, and they have some great exclusives for the month of December. They got a Ninja Funk issue to secret Christmas cover. It's an Alex Cormack exclusive with concept art by JPG himself and Mollywood. They did 250 regulars. 100 foils and there's a one out of one metal cover has not been revealed yet also will include an alpha betas one same cover artist alex cormack who has that rick and morty style another concept by jpg mcfly which they made 600 regulars 100 foils and another one out of one metal make sure to visit that spiderman booth.com and subscribe to their subscription box all right so on to the assembly let's go ahead and get rocksteady keyed in in the back so that's that retrieval robot in the front here on that unicycle type wheel. And then we'll get those arms in very strong magnets on those. There you go. So he has this little grenade on his back and that clip goes around his pant buckle there, right? So that's pretty cool. It looks like it's attached to the pants. The little turtle shell grenade goes on to the right of that. So let's just wiggle that in. And then we have that wooden sword. It was kind of hard to get this one in there. I mean, it's got a key and it's got a long, thin peg, but it's just kind of hard to figure out where to line that up. But eventually we get it. The little ammunition, I guess they didn't want that to chip off right there. And then this grenade clips on two places. So as you can see, I did the first one and here's the second part where it keys in. His left hand goes under like he's holding the weapon. And actually the weapon slides into the hand, which is pretty cool. And then the portrait keys in, as you can see here, that big solid portrait. Now let's take a look at this guy in full. 
All right, here we go. The quarter scale rock steady with the little retrieval robot. Man, he looks awesome. Let's take a look at the dimensions. So like Bebop, another, I don't want to say short, but it's not a tall piece. And mainly because the bases are pretty flat. Let's see, the base is just about, uh, it's like a one and a half inches tall, making Rocksteady a total of 16 inches as well, just like Bebop. Uh, the total width, you're looking at about 13, 13 and a half inches. And with that depth, again, it's like a seven and a half inch base. But if you look at him with the gun sticking out, it's kind of like 15 inches. Then the retrieval robot. So this little guy stands uh, just shy of nine inches. Uh, width with those arms is about 10 inches, although the diameter of that little sub base about four and a half to five inches. So Rocksteady with the exclusive retrieval robot retail $655. For $25 less, for $630, you could get just Rocksteady. Again, don't know why you would do that for $25. These little guys are definitely a must-have. Love this piece. I think I might like Rocksteady more than Bebop. He's always been more of the menacing villain with the rhinoceros mixed with the rock and roll guy. He's got the horns on his snout there. He's got that gun. He's wielding it with two arms. And the little retrieval robot, forget about it. I just remember him from the video games when he would skirt out and hit you with the lasso and electrocute you. So that little guy was such a pain back in the day. Uh, Rocksteady, he's armed to the teeth with ammunition, whether he's got shell bombs or regular grenades on the back of his belt. He's got his wooden sword, all the ammunition straps going around, the yellow shirt with his belly sticking out, matching his yellow eyes. And of course, he's got the helmet with those goggles. Menacing but stupid pair of TMNT villains. Bring out the dummy. We're already here, boy. Let me know what you think about Rocksteady in the comments down below. I'm gonna leave you with these guys spinning on the turntable as we wait for Krang. And then from what I'm hearing, April and Splinter, stay minty fresh, y'all. Peace.